But, but every, every headline in the Sunday papers about the Manchester derby is City and not United. I know, you know, of course. Fergie's a, a, Fergie's a subsidiary. Just explain your Colo Torre story to us. Now, they want to fine him eight, yeah. month, eight months after he was charged with um, taking an illegal drug. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, alongside the, uh, the Tevez kind of discipline thing, this, this, this now has, uh, has, has just emerged that, um, you know, the club are trying to fine Torre. Now, whether they're trying to do this under this kind of same disciplinary code that that they're, they're, they're trying to show that they're not uh, victimising Tevez. Correct, yeah. correct. But obviously, this incident took place last February. Mm. Um, I know the PFA are outraged that um, the club are trying to do this now, eight months after uh, the the original offence, and um, a month or more since he resumed playing again. Mm. You know, uh, I think the PFA's view and Torre's view as well is that if they were going to fine him, they should have done that at the outset when he was first banned, yeah. because they did offer him full support throughout the disciplinary uh, hearing by the FA uh, and now they've turned around and said well hang on you're out of order and we're going to fine you a, a major major sum of money. Yeah and he'll be upset by that I presume. He is upset and I know some of the other players are, are upset that you know City have let this drift and have only decided to attack this now. That, that wouldn't be Mancini though, that would be the No, I think itself. this is more of a, a, more of a kind of a, an overall Bear kind in of mind that the managing director of the club has changed during those eight months, well, so th this, it is this, a difficult yeah. thing. It's difficult to be too critical of anybody on this, because you can see the point mm. of, of, of Listen, wanting to be fair. Yeah, yeah, I'm not mm. suggesting City shouldn't have found no, Torre. But I could see mm. because, yeah. as well. let's yeah. face it, you know, they've, they've been without a player for maybe four months yeah. playing time yeah. or maybe five months playing time so you know and he, it was his mistake so they're within the rights to do that but I think it's the timing of it timing, which just yeah. leads me to believe that behind the scenes things are perhaps not as kind of um, uh, rigid there's not a proper structure there at the moment that, that, that exists say at Manchester United or other clubs. I yeah. don't know I, I disagree with that but because I think the, the issue is more about scrutiny and I think Manchester City are the biggest news story in football at the moment and every single thing that happens at that club is being scrutinised. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, therefore, so therefore you're getting things that maybe would happen at other clubs and would just you know, go under the radar. Yeah. Everything I mean, is being highlighted. A front page story yeah. about fireworks in, in a bathroom, which, exactly. is the, which is the point you're making. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it is phenomenally difficult for City who have only you know, recently installed an HR department, only really getting proper legal. To, mm. you know, they are trying to do everything very, very fast mm. yeah. and in, they have got the British media you know camped on them and we are you know waiting watching and so many stories coming out of that club which makes it very don't, difficult. Don't you think that goes with the territory though? Yeah or they can't accept you know they being, can't accept special favours. Of being but, successful and being but, a, Yeah a, a, listen a, Manchester United have had this for years and years mm. and years until Ferguson got an absolute solid iron cast grip on it. Mm. City are but, now paying the price mm. for you know, being the richest club in the world, having unlimited resources, yeah. mm. that comes at a price. Mm. Yeah. Well, what I'm and saying is that I don't think it's necessary that City are any, any kind of, you know, less structured or kind of, you know, that the, the players are only worse behaved than a lot than players are at a lot of other clubs. It's just that the fact that people are watching and, you know, there's that, that path by the training yeah. ground so you get the snappers in every day. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. Do, you know, do you know, if, we, if, we, this, if we took all the snappers away from, uh, from the training ground and we never printed any of those stories, do you know what would happen? you get every single City fan saying, why do you never give us publicity the way you do United? Mm. Because you can't win. They don't, I mean, they don't like the negative publicity, but I mean, you can't ignore it, is, which is, the, again, the point you're making. OK, we will come back to the Manchester Derby a little bit later on and get the boys' prediction for what's going to happen at Old Trafford. But uh, there's pressure in the Derby and there's pressure also elsewhere in the Premier League. Just ask Mick McCarthy and Owen Coyle. We'll have a look at that next. On Sky Sports HD1 and Sky 3D... Manchester United. Manchester City. Then, QB. At Old Trafford, such a big game, Steve. How do you gauge what exactly is at stake today? I mean, OK, we know three points, but is it more than that? Is it pride, bragging rights, um, psychological for City if they win? No, it's more than that. I think it's, um, you know, it's now reached a stage, particularly for Manchester City, where you know, they're, they're needing to go and make a big statement at somewhere like Old Trafford. You know, they're capable of doing it as well. You know, let's, let's not kid ourselves. They did it, a great psychological barrier. They broke down against uh, United in the FA Cup semi-final. Um, they always talk about that now as being a defining moment when the, there was this new belief that they can match United. And I think today we will see that, you know, 
yeah, they can match United. You know, they've got some great players, haven't they? Silva's in fantastic form. Aguero settled in very quickly. Um, you know, they they have the the strength of the the defensive midfield players and and great attacking strength mm. as well. But you know, I've watched uh, Manchester United for so so long, and on the big occasion. They rarely don't deliver, mm. yeah. particularly at Old Trafford. Mm. I know we, you know, we're talking in the break. You know, Basel this year, uh, Old Trafford. You know, that United were lucky. Chelsea, another day, Chelsea could have won that game. Uh, there've been other occasions this season where United have been lucky, but yeah. generally on the big occasion, they mm. do deliver. And I think it's just a fancy. It's going to be a fascinating game. But but I think it's one that w City will believe will will have bigger ramifications for them if they can mm. win, because it will certainly um, go a long way to proving that they. Um, that they're now on a, an equal footing with the United. What 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 attitude do you think Mancini will take in to, to the game? Because he he has known to be cautious. Mm. Um, he's 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 on record of saying a draw would be a great result for us. Mm. And I remember the, the, the derby at uh, at City last season. He was very 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 uh, negative. Yeah yeah I, I, I agree. I hope he doesn't do that today because uh, as Steve mentioned, <coughs> you know the the teams that have come to Old Trafford and attacked this season um, have made chances I mean uh, a lot of chances uh, I, I, I don't know whether Ferguson will play a second holding midfield player like he did at Anfield that'll be an interesting thing to see a, a, a home um, a, a, a playing two holding midfield players in a home game um, I doubt but, that uh, yeah well uh, I'm just thinking the second you know the second tier of City's attack is terrifying mm. uh, and I don't think they'll want those nimble little players running at Rio Ferdinand and Nemanja Vidic. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, they might, you know, y y you know, only a fool bets against United, so I'm going to. Um, <laughs> I think I fancy City. I just think that in games <coughs> like this, it's rather like a, a, a heavyweight boxing championship match. You know, nothing else matters. It's just mm. who is the stronger. And I think that City are the stronger attacking team. And I think that if they go and attack Manchester United, they can win by a goal or two. Will that be a key to you, that he has to go at them? And then they'll be a massive favourites for the title. Yeah, Sorry. he has to go at them. He, he oh, I, I think if he did anything other than just batter them, try to batter them, then it would be tactically inept. Yeah. Because, mm. I mean, but, you know, Steve mentioned all the teams that have gone to Old Trafford and, and, uh, and made chances. Chelsea yeah. could have won mm. the game. Yeah. At Old Trafford. Well, uh, the thing is, we'll learn a lot, won't we, about both these teams? Because actually, City, you know, they played Spurs when Spurs were having a bad time, haven't really had the proper test yet. Mm. So that's for them. It's a, a case of, yeah. you know, are they capable of of, of going at a team yeah. when the pressure's on in that sort of sense? Will, will Mancini hold his nerve and play yeah. the, the, that that three behind Jeco yeah. or Bellatelli, depending on who starts? Yeah. And then United also. I mean, they've you know the number of shots they've conceded was the same as Bolton, I think, about yes, a week correct. ago. You know they're, they're so porous defensively, so you could end up having a very high-scoring game. Yeah. You know that could be, and I think you know what you'll learn about City is is more psychological, whereas what you'll learn about United is more about how. The, the actual the ability of the players to, mm. to, to hold yeah. their shape now. Yeah, mm. um, is, do you agree with Steve? That it's a much bigger situation for City than United. Um, not if, to not a degree, United. to a degree. I think the the problem for United, the thing I'd be worried about if I was if I was in the United camp is um, the psychological impact on some of the younger players that home defeat to to City could have. Because, they, you know, they've, they've, they've been superb and exciting to watch this season, you know, the likes of Welbeck and Cleverly and Smalling oh, yeah. and Jones. But does, does, you know, these sorts of results have serious impacts on, on players and, how, and on their confidence. So, you know, if City, t you know, really turned them over t today, that would be, that would be something that would be very difficult for Ferguson to deal with. So that's, that's, there is stuff at stake for, for United, definitely. Yeah. Because you, you think that um, Balotelli will play, don't you? I, I think he will play, yeah. And, and, you, and you, you think what, he'll, he'll play three forwards or not? Uh, yeah, 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 I think he will. Yeah. I think he'll so play uh, Aguero um, with, with Silva, just sort of in behind. Pulling don't the think he'll play yeah. Dzeko? No. no, no, I think he, I could, obviously it could be wrong, but I, I, I mean, think playing play Dzeko, in a sense, might be playing into the hands of Ferdinand Vidic, if, if, assuming that they play, of course. Balotelli's far more dynamic, isn't he? And I think if you want to but pressure United's central defence... Balotelli is so difficult to cope with because he can, his, exactly. his ability is limitless. Mm. He's got so much mm. he can do. I mean, he hooked in a no, kind of overhead kick as if he was playing with a kid on the beach, you know, last week. He makes incredibly difficult skills look routine. Is, yeah. he, is he that good, 
Paddy, I, mean, I, can't, wise, I can't make up my mind. Talent-wise, he is. I don't know how good a team player he is yet, although he's getting better. I mean, the, the uh, two Wembley performances last season made you realise this is not a... This is not a uh, you know, a circus act. This is a, mm. a, re a, a really talented footballer. Mm. Um, I mean, a, a footballer in terms of technique as talented as uh, Rooney. But whether we, what we don't know is whether, whether he has the football brain. Of I think we're focusing on, you know, he's, what he's City... Years, what, bear in mind, he's five years younger than Rooney. Mm. So yeah. what's he going to be mm. when he grows up? I think yeah. we're focusing on what City if might, he grows up. What, what City yeah, might exactly. do today. Um, whereas, you know, and I'm sure Mancini will be aware of the threat posed by, you know, Nani, Ashley Young, yeah. Hernandez... Rooney, you know, City, City's defending at times, particularly mm. in Bayern Munich, wasn't that clever. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, th they've got to stand up and be careful because they will be put well, under pressure Ashley today. Young against Mika Richards. Mm. That, that, I mean, if I was a United fan, I'd be H looking Hernan forward to that. Hernandez in between, Les yeah. and, and, yeah. uh, and company. Do you think yes. Hernandez will play and not Welbeck? Mm. I think he'll play Hernandez. Do you? Yeah. I'm probably wrong on both mm. counts, but, but <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, what's interesting about this one is that, that never is a team sheet, you know, going to answer so many questions. Yeah, yeah. It's just impossible to decide who Ferguson's going to play. Well, Ferguson admitted on Friday at his press conference that he, he, he didn't know what team Mancini was going to play. Mm. They've watched them four or five times yeah, recently, yeah. and he was still none the wiser. Yeah. And, and he said um, that would shape what he was going to do, but mm. he was unsure what he was going to do because he doesn't know what Mancini's going to do. Yeah. 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 I mean, the attitude of both managers, of both teams, is, is quite significant, isn't it? Because we're all agreed that the City need to get at United. Yeah, yeah. But I don't, I, I, you know, Paddy was sort of, mm. sort of musing on the fact that he may play a, uh, Jones as a holding midfielder again with Fletcher, you like he did. Um, I don't think he'll do that at Old Trafford. No. Yeah. I think mm. the onus on United at Old Trafford is always to attack. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's what yeah. he will do. What, what kind of game do you expect? I mean, do you, th th these often fall flat, don't yeah. they? And the frenesity, the pressure on the whole situation. I remember last season when, um, when the, the, the game was won by that fantastic Rooney goal. Yeah. F for the opening 20, 25 minutes, Manchester City were fantastic. Mm. Silver was within a whisker mm. of, of scoring yeah. uh, when he just whipped it just across the yeah, 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 yeah. Uh So City were very, very aggressive, offensive that day. And I think the, the same again. I, I, I'm really, we, it's often these games fall flat, don't they? And uh, we build them up it. to be the game, of the, no. the game of the decade and all of a sudden it, it's nil-nil and, and mm. absolute and garbage. Uh, Mark, I don't think it will Mark be today. Mark Clattenburg in charge. Mark Clattenburg is the referee, mm. yes. Right, well, I hope he's got plenty of red cards. <laughs> <laughs> I think there'll be at least... I, I mean, Why do you want a red card? You don't want it spoiled? I don't want a red card, of course not. But, I mean... Uh, uh, you want one of your principles again, I, don't I, it's, you? It's, no, no, it's quite hard. Yes, we need more discipline in society. <laughs> yeah, Mark Clattenburg is uh, the, the, leader, of the, the leader behind whom we can march. No, no, I, I don't envy him. It's going to be very difficult because he's so much passion so many is the yeah. young playing i mean I god that's win. frightening you think city will win <laughs> why i think city will win because they i think it'll be an, a, an attacking game and i think they've got a stronger attack than manchester united and it depends on the attitude of mancini going for it I, 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 absolutely if he if he goes for it i think he'll win mm. okay and i think then we're talking five point gap and uh you know i know it's only a quarter of the season but yes it makes manchester city favorites duncan scoring draw I think uh, it, if, if both managers do go for it, otherwise it will be a, a tight win for United, I think, if, if, if Mancini's too, too reticent. And scoring the draw scoring and a draw. Chelsea win, and suddenly we have a, a three-horse race. No, mm. uh, 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 that, that will be a very interesting mm. Um, mm. outcome, but it is, it is still very, very early, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. The key to a United win? Key to United win is, is making sure that they're, 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 you know, if they do play Fernand and Vidic, that they get the proper protection, probably from Fletcher, I'd imagine. Mm. You know, they can't let Nasri and Silva have space, especially Silva. You know, that's, sitting on Silva is absolutely key. If they do that, you know, they've got plenty of attacking pace. They've got plenty, you know, Rooney's uh, been in sensational form. Ashley Young, as you say, against yeah. Mika Richards. Mm. The, that's, yeah, that's where so I'd I've, be looking. I've got a City win, I've got a scoring draw, and you're going to go for... Narrow, narrow United win. Okay. I think they will maybe just squeeze it. I'm not suggesting it will be in the fashion of, uh, you know, 2009 where Owen scored the last minute goal, mm. Skull's mm. last minute goal at, at mm. Eastlands and Rooney yeah. last year, but I, I think United will rise to the occasion. You seem they to have so a very good memory for these United wins. Uh, as they so. Well, no, I'm just. <laughs> the Manchester, Ma Manchester derbies, you know, sure. they're, they're in, in, in they emblazoned are, on yeah. my, my mind. Yeah. I think yeah. United will just I, have enough. I, I mean, I, I agree with you. I think United win, but I think also we want a fantastic game. Great advert yeah. for the Premier League, yeah. don't we? Don't forget, if you missed any of today's show, you can catch it again on the podcast. My thanks to Steve Bates, Duncan White and Patrick Barkley. And of course, as always, my special thanks to you for watching. And we'll see you next Sunday. Let's hope it's a great game at Old Trafford. See you then.
watch all five Sky Sports channels on your mobile and online with Sky Go.